is honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakabilash. And those are the names of who the world calls God and Jesus Christ in the Hebrew language. I'd like to give a uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, GMS. And uh, salutations to the whole elect brethren out there pushing the word in sincerity and in truth, uh, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And of course, to those men, women, and children. Which make up the whole like body of Amashiach Yahweh Shai. Uh, I like to say peace and blessings upon you and the Holy Spirit, the Rahakadash. And in uh, today's lesson, I just wanted to speak about real quick about uh, you know the, the the series of holidays that we're in. Um, we know as you know believers in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, uh, being Israelites, you know that the the customs of this world uh, they don't match up with the with the high holy days uh of the scriptures said that we should keep you know as an israelite you know the, the the high holy days that we should keep is the passover um what's it called a feast of tabernacles um what's another one a Purim, uh which we just came out of not too long ago i say about maybe three weeks to a month ago um you know these are just some of the high holy days that we you know we ought to keep as israelites but then we have this series of, you know, the world's holidays, such as we just got out of Thanksgiving. You got Christmas coming up, Valentine's Day, shortly after Christmas, you know. And the issue with it, uh, uh, here it is, you know, our jobs, you know, our, our jobs will give us these days off. And this is what gives our people you know to the excuse to you know get together as family and celebrate these days and it's completely wicked you know i was having a conversation with somebody and they had brought that up you know they had brought up the the fact that you know it's really the only time that they're given by their job to 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 celebrate with family all right but the thing is is that you know a lot of these holidays of the world for example thanksgiving it has wicked origins, you know. The origins of it is wicked. And if the origins of these holidays are wicked, you can't build upon it. You know, you can't make it, you can't try to reinvent it and make it better, right? You can't try to reinvent something that was established on wickedness, rape, rob, uh, 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 what's it called? Rape, stealing, murder. You can't reinvent that to make it something good, you know, and that's the issue with the world, all right? And this is what a lot of people are, are, are you could say, willingly ignorant to, man, you know? Because when you try to tell somebody about the truth, right, the truth of, of these of these wicked holidays, you know, they, they try to, uh, uh, to shun you away, you know? But as Israelites, if you know you're Israelite, you're not really supposed to be indulging in this shit, man. First of all, it's vain. All right? It has wicked origins. All right? Either, either the origins is going back to murder or just com completely I idolatry, man. For example, Christmas, man. Who would have known this whole entire time that Christmas uh, uh, was idolatry? It's it the worshiping of a false god. All right? The star on the top of the tree, well, actually, the tree and the star on, on top of the tree represents uh, uh, Nimrod. When you read about, I believe that's Genesis, the 10th chapter, all right, where it speaks about Babylon and then who the, the king that ruled that Babylon was Nimrod, all right. And they say the, the reason why you're supposed to erect the evergreen tree is because they said this uh, Nimrod was supposed to live forever and then you're supposed to bow down into Nimrod. This is the reason why. When the pair, uh, when the presents are underneath the tree, you have to bow down on your knees to get it, to get underneath the tree, because you're, you're essentially bound down to Nimrod, man. Who would have known that, man? But the excuse that people used, you know, to celebrate the holidays of this world, is what that this is really the only time off that we get to to have a family. You know, at the end of the day, if you truly believe in the Lord, man, you got to give it up. You got to sacrifice, man. You got to sacrifice. All right? This is why the scripture says, ultimately, the Lord have reserved unto himself 7,000 men that haven't bowed down to the knee of Baal. All 
all right but all is a is a you could say it's, it's pretty much it, it's a false god but you could say that's like the head false god and he's a representation for all of this madness that people are worshiping man but the lord said ultimately at the end of the day the lord reserved unto himself seven thousand men that wouldn't bow down the knee to this world all right and that number seven thousand is just a number of completion ultimately represents the election the hundred forty four thousand and the remaining of the one third at the end of the day they're not going to participate in this shit, man all right and this madness this 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 uh this world of confusion you know they're going to essentially wake up and recognize the lies that we've been told all our lives man like it says in the book of romans the 12th chapter man it's high time to wake out of sleep all right that portion that 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 election right the election is going to wake up to the bs man all right so this is the reason why we can't celebrate these wicked holidays i know we in a series of of you know a, a series of uh wicked holidays uh just coming after one after another but at the end of the day this is the reason why we can't ce celebrate it man because it has uh, wicked origins either it's established upon uh rape rob uh, robbery mur murder right thanks thanks killing thanksgiving right Oh yeah, oh yeah, the scripture says what? Woe unto them that build a town upon blood in the Habakkuk. What's that? The second chapter. I believe that's verse 10. Alright? And then you're about to have a feast. Upon the, the upon the uh uh the, the genocide of, of the Native Americans. Do you know? Why would you want to celebrate something like that? But then our people say, What? It's the time that we get together for family. It's complete madness, man. You know? But that's what I just wanted to speak about today. You know, just a little quick rant. Um, you know, the Lord, the Lord's waking up His people, man. It's, it's high time to wake out of sleep. It's high time to recognize the lies that we've been told for generations, man. All right, it's high time to wake out of it, wake out of this damn matrix. All right, because the Lord is coming back soon. Uh, the Lord, the second return will happen in our lifetime, whether you like and believe it or not. It's time to wake up. So with that, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai by Shem Rukakadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.